Hello guys, this is Johnny DeBial and today we've given you some tips on how you can earn yourself some extra coins in FIFA 13 Ultimate Team. So my first tip for you here is going to be playing against the team of the week. It sounds like a bit of a weird thing to do, but uh, they've made like a challenge for it. So every week you get some bonus coins for playing against the team of the week. You can see here, all you've got to do is play against the computer. Uh, because the team of the week's got a really poor chemistry, a lot of the players are out of positions, um, makes it a lot easier to play against this team so I decided to go for professional difficulty. I could have probably gone a little bit higher. You can see the team's overall rating there is not that great. It's uh, probably not even as good as mine uh, and it's only got 37 chemistry I think that was so it's a very very easy team to play against. I'll show you a couple of the goals. I scored her. I think I ended up winning about 4 now. This was an absolute mess of a goal but uh, nevertheless it goes in. That's an informed goalkeeper there. So uh, doing very very poor there but we uh, end up taking another goal here and I'll only show two for you just because I wanted to show myself beating the team and uh, I think it finishes 4-0 and uh, it's a very kind of fun game to play, good to play against the team of the week. You can see we get 680 coins there from our completion and skill awards, and then we get a bonus 400 for beating the team. So, uh, really, really easy. A thousand coins there for, I don't know, 10 minutes' work. I just sat and watched YouTube videos while I was playing it. Uh, another tip is to play in the seasons mode. This is probably the mode you guys will play the most anyway, but uh, if you just stay in the same league, don't get relegated, you get uh, yourself 900 coins, I think that was. Uh, 1,600 coins for getting promoted, and then for being the champions, I believe you get 2,000 coins. I think this may increase the first you get up the league so when you're in division one you get a lot more coins a couple of bonus packs as well i believe so uh, that's another easy tip for you just play in some season modes and uh you'll earn yourself some easy easy points and you can see here we're going to a uh, one season game here against this guy he's not got the best team in the world really really poor team and uh, this is another tip for you guys when you play against these teams just don't hold back you can see this is the first minute here going through on the ball with Gamera and I smash it in taking the lead and I actually end up thrashing this guy I think the score is 7-1 in the end and that's what you got to do just score as many goals as you can because you'll get bonuses for scoring extra goals in games also not conceding unfortunately I did concede that game so I don't get as many extra ones and you can see in the season mode, there's also a single player version which gets you a lot of coins as well. Some of them give you up to 2,000 coins for winning the season, one for 3,000 there as well. Uh, you just play against a set number of teams on certain difficulties. As soon as you get promoted or win the league, you will finish the season. So I think you have to play five games to win the title. So five games, five wins, and that can get you a couple thousand coins extra as well. Uh, here's another tip for you guys. This is backing out of all my team and going into the EA Sports Football Club. This is something that uh, uh, I'm sure a lot of people probably spend a lot of their time because you can, you know, buy a lot of interesting things in here so you can see at the top there my level is 39 so I can unlock a certain amount of things I uh, hold down the right trigger on the uh, catalog and go to ultimate team and then I find this one here for uh, buying uh, it's a thousand points it cost me and it gives me 1000 extra coins for five games which is really awesome you don't even have to do anything as long as you complete the game you get the thousand extra coins and I'll show myself getting that very very soon so the next tip is to go into online tournaments you can do this in single player as well I'll show a little bit later but uh, tournaments will get you a lot of extra points and extra packs so I get 2000 coins if I win the gold cup uh, bearing in mind these are a lot harder you have to play have to win four games in a row so it can be quite tough but this first game team I come against is an all IX team it's not that amazing of a team uh, Probably just about the same overall rating as mine, and we end up scoring a very messy goal here. I thought I'd show the messy goal again, but you can see that makes it 4 0. So it wasn't a very hard game to play in at all, but we did very, very well for our coin totals that game. So we won 4 0, which gets us a lot of coins, and then you'll see we also got our bonus 1,000 coins for that uh, thing we bought on the catalog. So uh, that's just an easy, easy amount of coins. You can buy up to 15, I think. Uh, 15 games of 1,000 coins each, which is 15,000 coins, which is absolutely amazing. And then you can see the DNF modifier. This is one thing you guys should all try and get as high as possible. Just don't quit. If you're losing a game, just man it. Watch some YouTube videos, sit on your phone or something. Just maybe play half ass, listen to some music. Just don't quit. And you can earn yourself some extra points by not quitting the game. The other multiplier that you could see on the right-hand side there a minute ago was, uh, I believe, related to playing against the player's skill. So because that guy's team was not as good as mine, uh, I only got point. 8-1 modifier. If his team was a lot better than mine, I would have got a lot more of a modifier. And uh, here's another tip, which is, again, the tournaments. This is against the computer. You can see I'm just playing against the Bronze Cup. First round on amateur difficulty is so, so easy. You get 500 coins win the tournament, and it goes up on uh, different tournaments. There's so many single-player ones as well, and I, I beat this, like, 10 nil. So, uh, that's another way to get yourself a lot of extra coins. And here's one final tip for you guys, and this is basically the manager's tasks. I believe you can only do this once. I hope they bring out some more ones, though, because uh, if you're really interested in do a lot of these, this is very, very simple things like apply morale card, uh, change your ball, change your kit, and you can see me going up here and picking up a ball for 150 coins or 200 coins uh, just to change it and get that, and also picking up a kit here for 200 coins. So very, very cheap to get them. 
and I also played in a tournament. It didn't work when I played in the online tournament, so you guys might want to try out a single player tournament if you're trying to do this. You can see number eight there is play your first tournament match. Didn't work for online, but it worked when I did single player, and you can see I finished off there. Got all 12 player, all uh, 12 challenges done. There was no more that unlocked, which is a bit unfortunate. I was hoping maybe there would be, but you can go to the store here. Uh, in a second, I'll go back, go down, and open my free gold pack, which is awesome. You get free gold pack for doing a couple of easy things, and I'll show you guys what I get in that pack. Well, I hope this video has helped you out, and I will help you guys make some extra coins when you start off playing Ultimate Team. I know not everybody likes trading, so this is very, very good tips if you're not into trading, and this will definitely help you get some extra coins and uh, boost your coin total when you start off in Ultimate Team. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like, and also subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys all for some FIFA 13 videos in the future. Goodbye.